Well, summertime is usually prime time to catch a glimpse of the best known butterfly, but the monarch is on a sharp decline. The night team's Jennifer Huff is here to explain why. What's going on? We need a little lighter news. Yes, here, we Mark. do. We <laughs> need some butterflies in this <laughs> we newscast. We need butterflies. So. I'm here to bring it to you. Well, experts are blaming last year's drought and this year's cold spring for so few monarchs. In fact, the number of monarchs in Wisconsin is at a 23-year low, but a Beloit couple is trying to change that. <laughs> You could love this little guy. At the Hess house, all the magic happens inside. The Beloit couple keeps a watchful eye on the chrysalids that will soon be butterflies. It's a small hobby they hope will help solve a big problem. And maybe you've only saved one little piece of the world, one little butterfly, but you've done something. And, and that's, and in, at the end of the day, that's. That's what it's worth. The pair is on a personal mission to save the monarch in a slump, in part due to development, chemicals, and a drought that decreased the milkweed crop it solely feeds on. The insect also migrates to Mexico, where it faces more hurdles. Deforestation is ruining the habitat. It's changing the environment, um, and it's making it more difficult for them to overwinter. So there's real concerns that the population will be wiped out down there. They're easy to identify. UW's bug expert Phil Pelletieri said butterflies can rebound if there's a robust breeding season to the north. A population out west isn't in any danger. It's like many other things. If you lose it, it's kind of a sign of just not taking care of things well. I found a daddy long legs. In the summertime, Gary and Darcy scour for eggs that could otherwise be eaten by predators. They found fewer this year, but when they do hatch, the two will care for the caterpillars until they emerge into a statewide symbol. We know that we're helping them. Every time we see a butterfly, whether it's a monarch or a fritillary or whatever, landing in one of our plants and feeding. We know that we've done something good. I learned so much today. Definitely want to thank the Hesses for having us out. And D Darcy and Gary will soon start to tag some of those butterflies to help biologists they work with to understand the migration patterns of the butterflies. And get this, the pair also have a wildlife permit to raise ornate box turtles, which are endangered here in Wisconsin. In 13 years, they've released nearly 200 of those into the wild around their home. Good for them. Yeah, pretty neat. You know, I used to raise monarchs when I was a little kid. I grew <laughs> milkweeds, the same thing. Those chrysalids are something oh. with that gold on there. The cameras could hardly catch it. They're beautiful. Yeah, they really are. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Yep.